Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you a quick way to clean a Game Boy Switch. Nine times out of ten when a Game Boy won't turn on, this is the cause of the problem. This works on Game Boy Advance, SP and Normal, and also Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Color. First thing we have to do is remove the shielding from the Switch. The easiest way to do this is to add a fresh blob of solder to one side of the Switch. Then you need something small and thin, I'm using an X-Acto knife. Then from the top, just put it underneath the shielding and apply a small amount of pressure while reflowing the blob we just put on the shielding. After a few seconds you should be able to lift the shielding, be very gentle as you do not want to break it. Slowly pry the shielding away, making sure not to do any damage to the shielding or the little switch inside. Now you can see the contacts of the switch, it's very dirty after years of use. This grime adds resistance between the battery voltage and the DC converter. Here I am cleaning it with some isopropyl alcohol and a fiberglass pen. A dirty switch can be the reason your Game Boy won't turn on, why you have poor battery life and on the Game Boy Advance models why the battery light is red. On the Game Boy Pocket models it could also be the reason why you can't boot into a flash cart. It's the equivalent of using an old tattered wire to connect the battery to the DC. Cleaning the switch it's the equivalent of adding a nice strong wire between the DC and the battery so the boost converter can work as intended with a nice strong voltage for the Game Boy to run on. Now we just put the shielding back on and re-solder it, making sure to press down on the shielding so it's sitting flat. And that is how you clean a Game Boy Switch. I hope this helped.